Good morning and welcome to Conversations with Vani. I have a helper today, Andre. <laughs> Can you see Andre? <laughs> He's very excited to help me and uh, we're going to be in the garden. And so my husband planted, made a box for my garden. And so I'm so excited. I haven't had like a raised box at this uh, at this home so we're going to look at what we planted and see how it's growing you know god is so good it's a beautiful day and i'm just thankful to see another day and to be with my family and be outside so i pray that you and your family are doing well and that uh, you have an amazing day just know that when you trust the lord all things work together i had planted you know a couple of different plants but as I've kind of noticed I probably planted them too close and I don't know if this is the right amount of Sun I it is getting water but if you were to look at kind of how I have some plants that are dying over here I'm gonna go through and kind of cut this back so that we can help this pot with the plants to grow better and so Andre's going to help me and we're going to go through that process now also I want to show you our corn over here so you can see the corn is actually starting to come in and so I have about six stalks that are coming in and I have them in the ground we had them in the ground but last year and that was like wonderful so we did have some harvest I think probably about maybe 10 to 12 I had to learn you know how to harvest them because that was my first season with corn so we'll continue to see how and monitor and see how this goes you see here is our spaghetti squash and it's doing pretty well and there also is a spaghetti squash and a gifted palm tree there um, Andre, you want to come help me pull up this weed over here? Yeah. This is some lettuce and it's, and it's starting to seed. And so, right over here, Andre, this one right there. Over here? No. Um, right over here. Right there. Right there? Yeah. Want me pull it? Yeah, pull this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right there. Good job. All right. He's my future gardener. Now go put that in the trash for me. Awesome. That was not good because the plants are not going to grow bigger. All right. And then you see here I have carrots and so we were just looking at this this morning and you can see that it's starting to come up and so oh wow I thought that was a carrot I think this is a turnip I am so excited let me get down here wait Andre Let me get closer. Look at that. Look at that. How big it is. Oh, no. We're going to have to pull this up. I thought this was a carrot. Now, see, I need to do better labeling of my garden when you're talking about. <laughs> okay, now you see here I have a carrot. So we are going to harvest that as well. So we are going to get our tools to get this up as well as the carrot now <laughs> this is like a mystery because once again I've been guarding for a couple years and you know sometimes the seeds take and sometimes they don't so we will have a surprise for you to get up and then you see here are our beets so once again I need to spread them out more so I'm gonna probably work on that These are our cucumber and I think zucchinis in here as well so it's taking really well taking um, pretty good so we're excited about that and <laughs> somehow I got an onion a gift in between there now these are some sunflowers right there coming up so you see here is the cilantro and the thyme is coming in really well we cut back the thyme we are going to, let me take a nice picture of the 
artichokes. So you see the artichokes, aren't they beautiful? So we left these two from last season and they created more seeds for us because that's what we had learned from our you know, research and watching different videos is to leave two, don't harvest all of them. But you can see here, we have one, two, three, I believe on here that are growing really nice. And then look at these. These are growing really well. And this is only our second season with this artichoke plant. And it is truly bountiful. And look over here. So I think I'm gonna, this is one starting to open. So I need to, I need to definitely harvest this so I can um, cook it and have our family enjoy. And then I wanna show you, I'm gonna come around the corner here. See, there's another one growing right there. Look at that. I never knew how artichokes grew, but it's a beautiful plant. And I harvested back earlier this week some of our Swiss chard and it's starting to come back. Yeah. You want to show them the, the um, arugula? Yeah. This is the arugula. We cut, cut it back and now go ahead and point to the little green flowers. We started to reseed them. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> He's a great helper. So they started to re we reseeded them and they're coming in so that's pretty nice my husband and i were looking at these onions it's been a couple of seasons with these so i might pull them up to see you know how they're how they're doing and then our peppers are taking off so we're going to give them some more time see they're starting to flower which is beautiful so that's a good sign i never was into gardening as a, as a younger you know a teenager or even in my 20s or 30s, but uh, late 30s, I really started to enjoy it. So, um, yes, we did have some broccoli down in there too, Andre, you're right. And then here we have some kale. So I did plant over here and don't make the mistake that I did. Make sure you label. So I'm going to have to go back through here and label. But those are sunflowers for sure coming in. And this bush lettuce bush leaf lettuce is coming in very nicely yeah. as well as i want to show you look at over here at the eggplant you see these pretty spoons my friend dolores made those for me thank you dolores um they're starting to flower so look at those eggplant flowers so we had about three last year i i, I love the eggplant love how it looks and tastes but i just have to really learn how to cook it better and then you can see the tomato plant and the tomato plant is doing really well. So maybe in a couple days we can come and harvest that tomato. There's actually one behind there too. So you can see it's about three. The parsley is growing really tall. So I'm gonna have to cut that back as well. And then I have some yellow squash over here that's starting to flower, which is really nice. You can see that over here. So that means that the soil, so this is the Moringa. If you see here, it was gifted um, to me by a cousin and I don't know, still standing up. However, it's not taking yet. Don't see a lot of flowering here yet. But you see here, this was actually that plant there. And now it's um, been planted in the ground and it's still doing pretty well. It's also reseeded over here. It's amazing how once you start gardening, how things reseed. So the rosemary is doing really well. And I need to also harvest this, these collars because it's starting to have bok choy seeds here and then try to seed the same item so I can help. I believe those are Brussels sprouts. We'll find out. Here we have some lavender, um, some more cucumber, 
and then we have some spinach i have not been lucky with spinach so i'm hoping this will be a good season for spinach mm -hmm. and then down here look at this green beans and snap peas so they're doing really well look we're gonna have those. to do better on our spacing mint you know mm -hmm. mint grows everywhere yeah. Yeah, so mint. i'm gonna just probably mint. water it but we planted it so it can get some water yeah, yeah, from the it. ground and then over there is our cantaloupe and watermelons yeah cantaloupe and watermelon <laughs> have to do harvest what are we gonna harvest Andre the plant can you bring over our harvest so we can see can you show me what we what we harvested yep the artichoke in the basket yep you know which one is the artichoke yeah this one. oh bring it over here let me see there you go bring it over here let me see what you have oh right there okay and that's called a what artichoke Awesome. Can you go put it back over there in the basket? And what else did we have? We have carrots. All right. Can you bring the carrots over? Yeah. 
Wow. How many carrots do we have? Um, one and two. Those are wonderful. What are we gonna do with those? We're gonna, we're gonna, um, so we're gonna clean them then eat them. Sounds good. Good job. So we are taking a break. And I got the two baskets. Thank you, Andre. Getting the two baskets. We're gonna go inside and rinse off our vegetables. Yeah. And, and we're gonna eat. Yes. So we worked on this. Hi, Adriana. Yeah, we're gonna be We worked on the collard green and kale. Yeah, because we're done for the day. Basket. We're and done for the day. We're gonna take a break. We're going to go eat some breakfast, yes. Yes, we're gonna eat some breakfast like this. What we're gonna do right now, we have showing you the after. This is the after of the collard green and kale bag. So I tried to thin it out and give the plants more space. Um, I need to still work on this so I'll keep you posted how they do. When I initially planted, I planted them too close. So I think that was impeding upon the growth. So I need to um, monitor it. But you can see I have some celery also growing because my celery is right next to it and it's seeded and created all this wonderful celery that I have throughout my garden. So I know the soil is really doing great things for us. We also harvested the artichoke as I shared earlier. And you know, we see the little baby artichoke coming up here, which is awesome. Quite a few of the baby artichoke. I wanted to show you where I had planted. My husband had suggested finding places where it was already wet. So I planted some collards there. I moved them there. I cleaned up that red leaf lettuce from the bottom, put that in our compost. I did some collards right here, replanted. Did one right there. So we'll see how they take. And I'll, I'll show you in another video. I did some right there. Some over here. Um, one right there. And right there. And right there. And then we got water, sun, and we pray that God continues to bless our garden. And this is Conversations with Vani. And so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. I would like to show you my front garden. And I have some potted plants here right here and so they've done pretty well it's interesting because I look at that celery I have celery growing everywhere even in the front of my garden which is amazing so I have hibiscus and some other perennials and some annuals out front my succulent is still hanging on right here but um, just wanted to show you some of my front gardening. Here are some beautiful roses that my husband planted for me. I'll come around and give you this other view. I mean, they really took off this season. Planted them last year, I believe. And I have a little plant here. That one should be blooming. A nice blue or purple flower. Then look at these pretty yellow ones. We're in Arizona, so the sun is harsh, but you can see how beautiful they are. Isn't that gorgeous? Like a little bouquet right there.